Thank you. <laughs> Please sit down. You're welcome to Thinkation 2022. It's my honor to stand here today to address you all and um, it's an attestation to the faithfulness of God in my life and in my family. Because considering what hit us suddenly from the blind side, I would say God has been faithful and the legacy lives on regardless of what has happened. So I'm very happy to welcome you all. And um, when the pandemic happened, it disrupted the world. So usually we have a large crowd and all of that. But this year we had to make it a hybrid so that we don't have too many people gathered in one venue. So whether you are watching me online or you're right here in this hall, be sure that you're going to have the thinkation experience undiluted. So you're welcome. Okay. It's my joy and honor to welcome all of you, my distinguished guest speakers present here and both those that are online and the ones that are still coming. I'm honored to welcome all of you and every other person who is involved in the event this year. The, the esteemed compares for this occasion, I'm sure you would agree with me that they are doing a phenomenal work here and you're going to see more of them. <laughs> you're welcome, thank you for coming. And um, the Legacy Organizing Committee of the Obon King Foundation, friends and volunteers of the foundation, you're all welcome to this special edition of Thinkation 2022. And of course, I cannot fail to mention my children. I have three of my four children seated right there. They've been <laughs> part of the wonderful support system that have held my hand strong and kept me from sliding into despair. Because when I look at them, I have a reason to live. So I'm happy that they are here, supporting me still. I welcome you all to the fifth edition of our flagship event, Thinkation. And the second since our great founder, Ubon King, departed this side of the divide on the 26th of December um, 20, 2020. And um, God has been faithful. The theme for this year, as you all know, is um, create your world. Like we say at the foundation, Ubon King may not be here on this side in his earthly suit anymore, but he left indelible marks on the sands of time and his legacy will continue to speak. You would agree with me that Ubon King has multiplied himself in a lot of other people. So instead of having one troublemaker, we now have several troublemakers scattered all over the place, multiplied all over the place. So the dream cannot die, the vision continues. So we are, we are blessed and honored to have worked with him, to have built with him, to have seen how he does things, and we continue in that regard. And also, we are also happy that this great work he started continues to speak in myriads of different beautiful expressions. Thinkation is a flagship annual event of the Ubon King Foundation, which was conceived by our founder, Ubon King, about five years ago. It started um, 2018 was when we had the first edition right here in Lagos, and it was phenomenal. It's made an edition held at, um, we had it at, um, at the Civic Center, where that's where it happened. And this event was born out of the founders burning pain points and passion to drive change. Having known and tested failure, he was somebody who would always talk about his failures, his defeats in life. He didn't hide it. He didn't project only the successful part of him. He made people know that this is where I was. I was right down there and God lifted me to where I am. So he always projected that. So this event was born from that passion and drive to, to see change happen in the lives of people and also to help people to live impactful lives. He was not only concerned for his family, and he was a phenomenal father and husband. He was all about his family, but not just that. He extended it. He was also concerned. He wanted to guide and help other young people succeed in life, not by merely giving them fish, but teaching them how to fish. His life experiences birthed a strong passion to raise young entrepreneurs with a mandate to impact their world through creative thinking, in addition to education, and also to win them from a dependency mindset. He didn't believe in 
give me urgent 2K here and there. Yeah, and there. He, wanted he wanted to see people independent and productive. And, productive. and, these, and these are some of the things that drove this vision. vision. Yeah. And he and wanted to see this generation reposition themselves to get productive. Thinkation is a creative major, in case you are wondering, of thinking and education. We believe that thinking is the missing component in our young minds and businesses today. And that is why we are painstakingly putting this event together to challenge parochial mindsets and provoke their critical thinking processes. Africans all over the world, you would agree, they are celebrated for being well educated. When an African steps outside of this show, you hear so many phenomenal things about them, Nigerians and all of that. So it's not like we don't have educated people on the African soil. But sadly, a lot of her communities remain impoverished and underdeveloped. Although Africa is richly endowed with natural resources, she has to depend on the expertise and influence from the Western world. While there's nothing wrong with this Western influence, it has its positives. It is imperative that Africans develop their minds and, and know what to do with what, develop their minds and know what to do with what they have in order to live in a better system. We believe that the challenges on our continent is not caused by the things we do not have. We have everything here. But what we do have that we have failed to utilize, I think because our thinking processes are impaired by a mindset that only thinks of today, that only thinks of the here and now. We don't think futuristic, and that is a great hindrance. A mind that has been trained to think critically is one that has been stretched and can take on challenging situations and think through to workable solutions. Thinking critically and thinking through is a critical component for success. For success. This is what we advocate for at the Obon King Foundation. John Maxwell wrote about five mental strategies that can change a person's life. And I'll quickly highlight that and go and sit down. You can read the rest of my speech on the program. So he said, he talked about one, the big picture thinking. This is thinking that you see the world beyond your own needs and how that leads to great ideas the big picture thinking. He also wrote about creative thinking, thinking outside the box and making breakthroughs. Also, number three, focused thinking, removing mental clutter and directions to realize your full potential. Shared thinking, working with others to compound results because sometimes somebody's thoughts may kickstart your own ideas and help you to see things in a different perspective and reflective thinking, looking at the past to gain a better understanding of the future. Because if you do not know what did not work before, you cannot know what to change in order to get better results. So this is our heart, heartbeat and heart cry at the Bon King Foundation. We must transcend um, education and infuse thinking into education for phenomenal results to get the sort of results we desire that can facilitate change on our continent, we need to exercise thinkation, which is thinking plus education. The Obon King Foundation hopes to help Africans from all walks of life to, to bridge this critical gap by nurturing the minds and thought processes of Africans through this initiative. It is important to have the productive population of a nation well-groomed mentally to the point where they want to exceed the status quo that prevail in their surroundings in order to attain their full potential in career, in finance, in health, business, and relationship. Finally, Thinkation is a platform which features established transformational leaders, and we have some of them on this platform today. We are truly honored to, to be listening to what they have to say to us. And I hope we are ready to get our minds blown, to get our minds stretched. You cannot step into this hall and your mind goes back to what it was before. You need to challenge your thinking after you listen because our effort would have been in vain if we go all out to get the speakers that we have today and you still go back and think about how you're going to, um, how you're going to make impact in your little village. You must think beyond your village. You must think beyond your family. You must think globally how to make impact. 
You can start from your village. There's nothing wrong with that. But draw it to the next level. And we want people that are ready to take things to the next level by the grace of God at the end of this event. So Thinkation features these transformational leaders, including young and upcoming lions from different, different facets of life to share experiences, insights, and secrets that can help people achieve extraordinary impact and accelerate their personal growth trajectory in business and national development. It is an intimate forum, and it presents leadership-driven conversations with quick-hitting expert presentations, followed by an, followed by an in-depth analysis of, of situations as they happen so that you can make useful um, conclusions from it that drives results. So sit back and get ready for a phenomenal experience on behalf of the organizing committee of the Thinkation 2022. I love to call them the legacy committee because it's not easy for a great man to suddenly exit this life and his vision continues to thrive. There are so many people that have started things that the moment their eyes closed, that was the end. And we are not that people. And we are not raising that people. We want people that can do things that will, that will live beyond them. Generations after you are gone, this world must still remember your name. So thank you very much and God bless you all. Ladies and gentlemen.